Hi, I'm Charlie Rebick, Director of Sales and Marketing at Open Sesame. In this simple little video today, I'm going to show you how to check and change the battery in the Open Sesame door operator. One of the biggest benefits of the Open Sesame system is its battery backup. If you ever have an emergency power outage, the Open Sesame system will continue to work for a couple of days. The battery in the Open Sesame is a simple 12 volt, 1.2 amp hour battery. If you ever need to replace it, you can call us or get it at any battery supply store like Batteries Plus or Interstate Battery, Duracell. We have found those batteries don't last very long. In a pinch, you can also use a 1.3 or 1.4 amp hour battery. If you ever notice that your door is opening slowly or not opening all the way or not releasing from the electric strike, there is a good chance your battery has come to the end of its life. Even if the open sesame system is plugged in, it will not operate properly if the battery is old. In this video, I'm going to show you how to check the battery and how to replace it. To check the battery, first you want to make sure your open sesame unit is plugged in and that it is receiving power. Your open sesame unit comes with a 24 volt transformer that plugs into a wall outlet. Make sure it's plugged in and that you're getting a green light which indicates the transformer is working. Make sure no one has unplugged the unit as the door operator will take several hours to recharge if it has been totally depleted. Now that we know the transformer is working, we are going to check inside the door operator. Get up on your stepladder and loosen the two cover screws on the cover plate. Note that to remove the screw on the top of the unit, you will need to open the door a little to get the arm out of the way. Now close the door again and look at the main circuit board. With the door in the closed position and the unit turned on, you should see two lights illuminated on the circuit board, the red light and the green light. The red light tells you that the door operator is in the closed position. The green light tells you that the unit is receiving power to charge the battery. If the green light is not illuminated and your transformer is working, then check your wiring. Turn off the door operator and unplug the transformer. Then check the wires to make sure none of the wires are loose or pinching. The door cord from the operator could have gotten pinched or one of the wires from the transformer to the phone jack may have come loose. With good wiring and the green light illuminated, we now know that the battery is getting power to charge and we can test the battery. First, turn the open sesame operator off. Then pull out the battery you can see it simply pops out. Pull the tape off the battery. Disconnect one of the terminals, black or red, and inspect the fuse. There is a fuse that runs along the orange wire. Simply push the black connectors together and twist to release it. The fuse should look clean. Now place the connectors of your voltmeter onto the battery terminals. With your voltmeter, set to 20 volts DC, the battery should read 12 to 14 volts. If the battery is under 10, it means that it is getting old and should be replaced. If the battery is under 6, then you'll notice it hardly has enough power to even run the circuit board. To replace the battery, use a new 12 volt 1.2 amp hour battery. Pop it in, reconnect the wires, lay a little electrical tape over it, and close up the cover. Make sure your ladder is out of the way and test the unit. You can use your remote or the test button. Note that if the battery is not fully charged, it may take a couple hours for it to become fully charged. For more videos about the Open Sesame system, please visit us at opensesamedoor.com. Thanks for watching.